Hey, shalom, shalom. What's up, you guys? It's Takoria back with another video. And this time I'm going to make it short and sweet. I'm talking about the pineal gland. So the pineal gland, is it biblical? Yes. And I'm going to read you the scripture, which um, some people, I'm Bible right here. Some people, they do try to discredit this scripture, which is very isn't smart. You have to have eyes to see and ears to hear. And I'm talking about in the spiritual. You have to have spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear. I'm reading out of Matthew 6, 22. And it says, your eye is a lamp that provides light for your whole body. When your eye is good, your whole body is filled with light. And that's the scripture, but I'm going to read a little bit further. So I'm going into verse 23. So this is Matthew 6, 23. But when your eye is bad, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actual, excuse me, and if the light you think you have is actual darkness, how deep is that darkness? And then this is verse 24. No one can serve two masters. For you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. So with reading that, you have to acknowledge that this said I, not eyes. Our spiritual eyes is different from the pineal gland, which the pineal gland is the eye of your mind it is the eye of your body the single eye which is one eye and it's here so the pineal gland is back here but once it is activated then you're going to be able to see out of your spiritual eye this has only happened to me once but a lot of people that i hear talking about this um saying that it's only just only wicked and evil they have not had this happen to them. So I've already posted my testimony, which is about a 45 minute video. And if you want to check it out, I have the timestamp below of when I went through and just talked about that only. But if you want to check out the full video, I would advise to do that so you can get the whole story and not just a piece of it, but to get the whole deal. Um, a lot of people do try to discredit this scripture, which I don't think is wise to do, especially if you haven't been through it before. So our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made by the most high. Abiyah. I'm not just talking about our body in the form, um, just, you know, body only, but I'm talking about our brains, our minds, and that's why we have to be careful of what we're eating, what we're intaking, what we're watching, what we're listening to, everything. I wanted to share a little bit of my experience that some people don't have an attention span to watch a 45 minute video. So to make a long story really short, I prayed to Abba Yah, I prayed to Yah, God of the Bible, you know, the Bible. So I prayed and I asked so many questions. I asked 100 million questions. Probably wasn't that many questions, but it was a good 15 questions. And I cried out with all my heart. It was deep. This happened about eight months ago. So when I did that, then I heard back. And when I heard back, it wasn't the regular way that I usually would hear back through like something happening and then I'm just piecing it together or just the the Holy Spirit. This was different. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it from a light point of view. It is enlightenment, but it is not a wicked kind of enlightenment. Like most of the time when I look online and I try to find someone who's had something similar that's happened to me, they're like, crystals and chakras and knocking on their forehead and doing yoga and meditating and not thinking about anything or lighting up a whole bunch of candles. I simply said a prayer 
I said actually two prayers, two very, very long prayers that I meant with my whole heart. And I prayed a lot of times before and meant with my whole heart. But this time it was like in desperate need, like I need, 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 need an answer. And I got more than that back. I got a whole experience and it was still the same. That's how I found out that it was the pineal gland activation because I did feel the liquid in the back of my head. I, my eyes would not open and I could see as clear as HD through here with my eyes closed with the mind eye. And Yah was showing me a lot of things about church and the stuff that we were learning that we shouldn't have been learning. And that's to worship pagan gods and goddesses and to learn about them and their ways and the customs of the heathens. And I got to feel a feeling of hurt and I got to feel a feeling of anger and wrath. That wasn't placed towards me, but that was placed towards the churches that are not teaching Yah's correct word. And they are teaching the way of the heathen instead. So all this happened, and that's a long story short. So you can check out the other video if you want to hear the full testimony, which I advise that you do. I just wanted to make this quick video. To say the pineal gland activation is biblical and it is beautiful and it is powerful and it's some and it's something that can happen to us by the power of Yah. But a lot of people are playing with it. If you've done it and it's in darkness, I I advise you to repent and seek the kingdom of Yah. And to the people that are saying that it is wicked. It can be used for darkness, but it can also be used for light. So you please have to be careful what you say when you are going into the word of Yah and you're making videos, quick videos to give views and likes, but you don't know for sure. OK. And that's actually all that I have for this video. Very short and sweet. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like. Um, I will be expanding on this experience and also on other topics. So please like this video, comment, subscribe, whatever. I have a lot to share. Thank you. Have a good day. Shalom. Bye. So also real, real quick, I just want to say too that it wasn't no dream catchers. It wasn't no Kondalini. It wasn't any of this stuff that I'm seeing online and that I hear people talking about. It was a beautiful, 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 beautiful experience that it took me time to be able to explain it. But I don't do any kind of sage or like I we even call our eggs holy eggs. We don't even call them devil eggs. OK, it's a body part. So it's just like our eyes. Our eyes can be used for evil. It's just like our hands. Our hands can be used for evil. It's just like our feet. Our feet can be used for evil. Everything, even our heart. Our heart can be good. Our heart can be evil. This is a body part. It's a body part. And it can be used for good or it can be used for evil. So for light or for darkness. And I need people to understand this because a lot of times what happens spiritually, people only want to accept the spirituality until a certain point. And then they want to say, oh, no, no, no. Like no one wants to believe in demons and the devil anymore. Satan, 100% real. Demons, 100% real. Um, people need to start having the faith to know that Yah does great things beyond any other things that you have seen. So Yah has the power. Build up your faith and know that we are in a time where we're going to be seeing a lot of things that, that you wouldn't even believe. Our minds can't, can't grasp it. We're going to be seeing miracles. We're going to be seeing all kinds of stuff. So 
Um, I would suggest you build up your faith. I would suggest you read your Bible. I would suggest you pray without ceasing. And that's all I have for this video. So shalom and Yah bless you. <laughs> shalom, shalom.